Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bring you guys a Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium pack opening. Got five packs for you guys today. Uh, it's a pretty interesting set. Uh, a couple good cards in it as well, including Left Arm Offering, and Card of Demise I think is still up there. And, you know, getting Phoenix Mode, which is the cover card, is always a cool plus too. So we got five packs, let's go ahead, open them up and see what we get. Plus a lot of, you know, nostalgic cards are in here too, like Alternate Art XYZ Dragon Cannon. Oh. And we have an ultra rare right off the bat, Curse of Dragonfire. Always thought it might be interesting to try and build a, you know, Gaia deck. Very nice. Uh, contract with the Dark Master, Exodius, and a Spiral Spear Strikes. I think that is telling me something right then and there. Very cool. Start off with an ultra first pack. Pack number two. We have a symbol of friendship. Up. Oh, we have the true name. Uh, good for the God Card deck. Black Skull Dragon. Another Exodius, and a Tiger Axe. So we're two for two on the hollows. I had one pack come out of the last box, then he opened up a new one and I picked four randomly. So we have an XYZ Dragon Cannon, Spiral Spear Strike, Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon, Dark Master Zork, and a Scapegoat. Pack number three. Even so these, fun, these packs are just fun to open too because they're not too expensive either. We have a Widespread Ruin, Contract with the Dark Master, La Jin, Metal Morph, and Relinquish. And like I said, just trip down memory lane with each one. Last fact, let's see if we can end with a hollow. Well, we're ending with definite true sign to build a Gaia deck, Gaia the Fierce Knight, and another Curse of Dragonfire. So we got two of those. I think that's a definite sign that you know I should work on that kind of deck next. Uh, Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction, Dark Paladin, and Contract with Dark Master Zork. Do we actually, how many of those, did we pull at least a playset of that card? It feels like we did. Yeah, we honestly did pull three of those cards. I don't think it's that big of a set, but other than that, it was a really cool pack opening. We ended up pulling, you know, uh, three uh, hollows out of the five packs, two of them being Curse of Dragonfire, but I do think this card is implemented in that deck if I were to work on it. Uh, but hope you all enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.